if somebody comes up to you or tonight as I'm asking and I say, Jonathan, what is time? What is your answer? Oh, wow. That's a great question. Um, the concept of time has different meanings in different contexts. So uh, there's uh, the way we experience time as living beings, uh, our personal uh, circadian rhythms and uh, our you know, so-called temporal lock to uh, our surrounding uh, environment on the planet. Uh, so if we go out of, uh, out of that temporal lock by going on a plane or, you know, getting jet lag uh, from going into a different time zone, uh, then all of our certain rhythms would be thrown into, uh, thrown out of rhythm uh then there's uh then there's the the uh mental experiments with the time travel that we can do um which are uh non uh confined to necessarily even the reality in which we live uh, the physics of the law, the laws of physics of the universe. Um, and, uh, in that context, time would be, uh, measurement of the seventh direction of motion. Uh, there's height, there are three dimensions in space, regular space. There's, uh, height, which is up and down, uh, width, which is left and right, uh, and uh, depth which is front and back and then uh all of that together moves in the seventh direction of uh time um in this context which is just uh the sum of all universal motion and of course you know the way we experience time as living beings is very limited compared to how uh the universe would not necessarily experience time, but how the universe uh, exists over time. Um, well, in physics, uh, we've talked about it in terms of uh, perception of time, jet lag and that sort of thing. Uh, we've started to talk about it a little bit in terms of the geometry of time. Uh, and the physics of time is uh, that it is a, essentially a force because it is uh, the measurement of motion. Uh, all motion in all directions at one. Uh, the sum of all of that, the so-called sum over histories, is the uh, essentially the time dimension itself. 